Um, just a quick review of Afghanistan's T20 squad against India um, in terms of importance of this series. Uh, it's obviously crucial. Um, Afghanistan have never played India in a bilateral series before. Um, they've only played one test game, which was um, in India. Uh, so it's the first ever white ball series and it's good to see that finally happening. You know, this was something that was missing in the Afghan cricket on international level. Um, coming to the squad, the good news is that Rashid Khan is back. Uh, he was inactive in the last couple of months due to his back surgery. He's still recovering from that um, and according to my sources, uh, he will most likely not play any of the three games. But it's a good opportunity for him to, you know, observe things from outside and see uh, what can work uh, best for him, you know, going forward to the T20 World Cup and building up to that. Um, the other good news is that the trio, which was under restrictions from the cricket board in the recent um, weeks, um, Naveen Al Haq, Fazal Haq, Farooqi, and Mujibur Rahman, they are back in the squad. Even though Naveen and Farooqi played um, the earlier series against uh, the UAE, uh, but Mujib was missing, and uh, it's good to see him back. And that basically means that. Um, their dispute and you know those disagreements with the board have kind of been resolved and they've reached common grounds which is uh, a good news for, for, for the Afghan cricket going forward. Um, uh, that T20 World Cup is coming up and it would have been brutal uh, to not see them in the team. Mujib's role will obviously be crucial in Rashid's absence. Uh, he's that frontline spinner um, who've been performing consistently for Afghanistan in the shorter format. So when Rashid is away obviously they need someone like Mujib to rely on. Um, you know, to take that senior role and uh, uh, Kais Ahmad is the other new name in the squad. Um, he's been a familiar name in franchise cricket but haven't really had the opportunity to represent Afghanistan consistently um, and the reasons are obvious and in, 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 in the presence of um, Rashid and Mujib, it's quite difficult for other players to come up and, uh, you know, uh, get that opportunity. Uh, Afghanistan has other very good spinners. Uh, Nur Ahmad too hasn't really played international cricket for Afghanistan. Um, uh, Naveed is the other name, uh, uh, Isarul Haq Naveed, um, Zahir Khan, um, Hamza Hotak. So these are the names that, uh, you know, I, I think if they were playing for any other countries, they would have consistently played for the national team. But when it comes to Afghanistan, obviously it's quite tough for them to make it to the team. Um, so I'm glad to see um, Qais Ahmad in, in the squad. He's, he's quite handy with the bat too, uh, in his performance um, against the UAE. Um, the T20 series which just concluded before this um, it has been quite good. You know, he was the most wicket taker um, um, and, and th that's a good sign. You know, uh, to be fair, Afghanistan didn't really miss Rashid in that series and that was purely due to um, uh, Kais Ahmad's performance and Mujib wasn't in the squad as well. So that's good to see. Um, Noor Ahmad is obviously young. Um, he's had that experience of playing the IPL. He was very good in the recent World Cup, you might have seen. So it's good to see uh, you know, him being trusted um, for such an important series uh, and I think he, he'll be needed uh, as well, um, you know, uh, looking at the Indian conditions and um, his performance in India, um, he'll also be important. Uh, Muhammad Nabi is obviously the other um, spin bowling rounder who's in the team and he, he, he's someone who can really uh, you know, help bring the team together, uh, that too when Rashid is away will also be important to give that anchor role to the newly appointed captain uh, Ibrahim who was quite impressive in the recent series against the UAE but uh, you know Nabi's role around him will be really important. Um, so in, in total there are five all-rounders, six batters, uh, four spin, uh, spinners and four fast bowlers. Uh, Naveen Al Haq, um, Farid Malik, Fazal Haq Farooqi and Salim Safi. The, the, the two um, regulars are obviously Naveen Al Haq and Fazal Haq Farooqi. Uh, but it's good to see Salim Safi also part of the squad. He was part of the squad in the last World Cup, but didn't play any of the games. Uh, Batting-wise, uh, there are six batters. Uh, the two openers are Rahmanullah Gurbaz and Hazratullah Zazai. Uh, Zazai's presence in the team and selection in the team uh, have been questioned a lot, uh, and which which is fair to an extent due to his performance, recent performances, and um, uh, the question marks around his fitness. Uh, but every team has that one X factor of player. That you can count on and for me I think in Afghanistan that would be Hazrat Allah Zazai. He has proved that in, in, in the past um, and if Afghanistan is going to the next stage or winning a few games I think one of the key players they will be relying on if he makes it to the World Cup uh, squad it'll be Hazrat Allah Zazai. Um, whenever Afghanistan have had a good uh, opening start you know they've um, almost gone over the line in most of the games 
so the two uh, opening pair both are quite aggressive uh, you know fearless uh, in their approach uh, so i think they'll be crucial and uh, one down for afghanistan um, is the skipper himself uh, ibrahim zadran uh, if things uh, don't go according to plan he's someone that you can really count on in that one down position uh, uh, he's quite uh, calculative in his approach and you can really count on him to build up uh, the innings from there um, Muhammad, Muhammad Nabi, as mentioned, obviously uh, the bowling rounder, uh, Najibullah Zadran, um, uh, wicketkeeper option is Ikram Ali Khil. Um, I'm not sure if he will, you know, have an opportunity to play any of the games, but um, if uh, Rahman Lagur Baz is not available due to any reasons, um, he'll be the next option. Um, the two batters that were part of the squad in the recent UA series, uh, Sadiq Atal and um, Muhammad Ishaq. Uh, I personally think Ishaq would have been a much better option, um, uh, you know, having seen him um, his, his, uh, in, in, in domestic cricket. Um, he's someone that you can really, uh, you know, trust with that uh, responsibility. Um, Sadiq Atal, uh, I've personally observed and watched him during the Under-19 World Cup. He only played one game there against uh, the hosts, South Africa. Uh, where he was uh, quite impressive. Uh, he was also his record, you know, domestic level is quite good too. So uh, for me, uh, I think uh, it would have been good if someone like him or Mohammad Ishaq was, um, you know, being picked for this series um, or even in the final T20 squad, which I think um, is is too early to judge or you know uh, comment on. They didn't really get that opportunity to prove themselves. They didn't play any of the games in, in the recent uh, series against the UAE. Uh, but it's sad to see them being dropped. So overall, I think it's a fairly balanced squad. Uh, it'll be good to see uh, them going over the line in at least one of the games. But I don't think it'll be easy to beat India in India. Uh, but um, despite the result of the series, um, I think it's a good opportunity for Afghanistan to, uh, you know, play some good and competitive cricket against uh, a top team. Uh, and I wish them best of luck. <laughs>